Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and in this video, we're going to solve this equation right here. We have 11 minus 6x is equal to 3, and we're looking to solve for x. So my question to you is, can you solve this? And uh, feel free to use a calculator because I'd like you to express your solution as a decimal. Now, if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to walk through the solution here step by step. Uh, also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep, or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so 11 uh, minus 6x is equal to 3. Again, we're trying to solve for x, and uh, this is definitely a uh, problem where you'll need your calculator. So let's go and take a look at the answer again. I'm going to express the solution as a decimal, and here it is. So x is approximately 1.16. 1 uh, 1.16, 1 of course, uh, I'm rounding this off, but this is good enough. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, if you got this right, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a nice little happy face in A plus A 100% and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that you know a thing or two about solving exponential equations. Okay, so that's really uh, the main topic of this video is solving basic exponential equations using logarithms. And uh, for those of you out there that might be taking like an Algebra 1 or first year Algebra course, you likely have not yet learned this, okay? So this topic, exponential um, uh, functions and logarithmic functions, it's generally taught at the Algebra 2 level. Maybe, uh, you know, for those of you in college, college algebra levels, certainly those of you in pre-calculus or, you know, higher level math uh, should be very aware how to work with logarithms. But uh, let's go ahead and get into uh, this problem. Okay, so here we have 11 minus 6x is equal to 3. So the first thing, um, when you're uh, dealt with any kind of math equation, right, you need to identify what type of equation, right? There's all different sorts of equations in algebra. And um, this particular equation, we're solving for the variable that's in, it's in the exponent location of this power right here, right? So this is quite different than x to the 6 power. Okay, this would, um, is a polynomial, a 6 degree polynomial. In other words, if we just kind of switch the variable and the number around here. So here, because we're looking to solve for the variable that's in the exponent, this um, is an exponential equation. Okay, so... What you want to be thinking is, oh, exponential equation, I need to use logarithms to solve because exponential functions and logarith or logarithmic functions, excuse me, <laughs> are inverses of one another. Now, if you solve a log equation, okay, uh, you want to be thinking what? Exponents, right? Because, again, these two functions are inverses of one another. Okay, so uh, hopefully you, uh, you understand that. Again, if you are like lost, you're like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, I teach all of this stuff, full, complete instruction, and uh, you can check out either my Algebra 2 course, College Algebra course, or Pre-Calculus course. I'll leave the links to some of those courses in the description below if you really, really want to kind of, you know, uh, take a deep dive on this topic. But let's go ahead and get started now. So we're going to need to use logarithms to solve this equation. But uh, before we do that, what we want to do is uh, kind of structure this equation so we can uh, take the log of both sides. So the objective here is to get your um, your power, okay, with uh, of course with the variable and the exponent on one side of the equation and a number on the other. All right. So basically, uh, that's the kind of the setup here. You have your power and one number. Okay. We, so obviously we don't have that scenario right now. So, but we can clean this up, uh, no big deal, just using some basic algebra. So the first thing I'm gonna do is subtract 11 from both sides of the equation. And what do we get? We get negative uh, 6x is equal to negative eight. Okay, so here uh, you could see that uh, this is negative and this is negative. So if I just divide both sides by negative one, I can just get rid of that negative sign. So we'll just kind of write it like this, 6x, uh, positive 6x is equal to positive 8, okay? Again, if you're like, hey, how did you do, you know, do that? 
Well, easy, I can just simply divide negative, whoops, negative one by both sides of the equation, right? Okay, yeah, you always want to do that, by the way. Uh, if you're like, oh, I can just leave it like this. No, try, if you can put things in terms of uh, positive um, signs, it's just easier, right? Now, uh, at this point, we are ready to take the log of both sides. Now, this is a pretty simple setup. There's certainly much more sophisticated, uh, complex uh, exponential equations, but effectively, this is like the first step. Okay, so now that we're, uh, we have one uh, power on one side of the equation and one number, we're ready to take the log of both sides. Now, basically, you could take um, uh, the log, you could use any log, okay, any uh, base, um, uh, you know, that you want to use in terms of logarithm. In other words, we could take the ln of both sides. Now, if you don't know what the ln is equal to, hopefully you do, that is log base e. Okay, that's what we call the natural logarithm. But an log by itself is log base 10. Okay, this is called a common log. And the reason we want to use this is because we have a lovely button on our calculator, log. Okay, that's the common logarithm. We also have an ln button, okay, which is the natural log. So you can, you can actually do this problem by taking the ln or the natural log of both sides. You could technically do it, no problem, taking log base seven of both sides. But again, you don't want to use a different base other than the ones on your calculator because you're just giving yourself more work. Okay, so again, unless your um, base here, okay, right here is an, an e, like e to the x. If you see e's, you're definitely thinking uh, natural uh, law, uh, nat natural logarithm, right? So you got the common base C. E. But anyways, I'm digressing. Let's go ahead and get back to the problem. All right, so I'm taking the log of both sides, log of both sides. And one thing you need to um, kind of just keep in mind here, when I take the log of a number, right? Like right here, log of eight, or the log, uh, common log of base eight, you can literally just put this into your calculator and you're going to get some sort of decimal value, right? So these are now just numbers. So just keep that in mind, okay? So in other words, don't get uh, too, you know, overwhelmed with the uh, log. Now you don't want to start converting or changing uh, these values into decimals just yet. You always do that at the end. Okay, now uh, the next step uh, in this problem and this comes from the uh, very critical property of logarithms. You need to understand the, the properties of logarithms, one of which is where you can take your exponent and move it in front of your log. Okay, this is a very, very important uh, property of logarithms. There's others, of course, you need to know those. I'm not going to be covering them uh, on this particular video, but here I can put this uh, exponent in front of this log. Okay, I can drop that down. Why can I do that? Well, again, there's a property a logarithm, uh, logarithms that allows me to do that. So now I have my variable as x times log six is equal to log eight. So this is effectively uh, right here. This is just a number x times some number is equal to another number. I mean, this is like basic algebra stuff, right? Like x times two is equal to eight. Now, of course, I would write that as two x is equal to eight. But to solve for x, all I need to do is divide both sides of the equation by what? In this case, log six, okay? So x would uh, be equal to log eight divided by log six. Now, once you show your work like this, okay, now you can break out your calculator. Uh, oftentimes, your teacher will uh, be perfectly uh, happy with an answer like this, uh, but if the uh, problem states a uh, find a decimal you know, approximation or write your answer as a decimal, well, then you're gonna have to get your calculator out and type in log eight divided by log six, and you'll get X is approximately 1.16. Okay, so in terms of, uh, you know, how difficult this problem is, I would say this is probably like a three out of 10 in terms of level difficulty. Uh, you know, it's kind of a basic review problem, but uh, you know, the thing is this, right? If you don't understand something, Okay, how do you handle that? Well, it's not just in math, it's in life. What you gotta do is go back to the basics. You gotta first define, identify what you don't understand. Now, if you are a student and you have a teacher and you write out all your steps, your teacher, uh, you can say, hey, where am I going wrong? And you're writing out your steps and our, your teacher should be able to say, oh, right here, you made an error, okay, this is wrong. 
Now you need to figure out why that's wrong. Okay, uh, clearly you don't understand something, but here's the thing. The good thing is if you understand 90% of everything, but you just made an error on this little part, once you correct that, then you should be able to get everything right. Okay, so you know, math, learning math is really a game of details, one skill at a time. Okay, that's why it's so important to write out all your uh, work neat, uh, uh, neatly in an organized manner, step by step, so you can see what's going on. And better yet, your teacher can see what's going on. Okay, so if you need help with exponential functions or logarithms, just check out my courses uh, in the link below. But hopefully this little video helped you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.